exponents explained. So you got your little math teacher and she's going through her little exponent rules and she's like, if A does not equal zero, then A to the zero power equals one. And she puts the following examples up on the board. Five to the zero power equals one. All of that equals one. That equals that. But you're like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, explain, my dude. Why? Well, that is what I am here to do. I love it when you ask questions that I am prepared to answer. So let's do this. Let's say you have zero exponent, right? You want to know why. I got you. So you get two to the fourth, two to the third, two to the second, two to the first, right? Two to the fourth equals 16. Two to the third equals eight. Two to the second equals four. Two to the first equals two. We know this, okay? So what's going to happen? I need to figure out my pattern, okay? My pattern is that I'm dividing by two. 16 divided by two is eight. Eight divided by two is four. Four divided by two is two. So naturally, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take that two to figure out two to the zero power. I'm going to take that last blue two and I'm going to divide it by two. Two divided by two equals one. Oh, snap. I know. I just blew your mind. Some of y'all are still a little skeptical because you're just like, you just used some twos and you made it work out. Well, <laughs> wait for it okay because you're looking at me like michael jordan over here but i have proof we got to use three because i can't just do it with one number and make it a rule i have to be able to do it across the board for it to be a rule so i got you three to the fourth three to the third three squared and three to the first 81 27 9 and 3. what pattern am i going to use do not say divide by two. That was the last problem, but this one, we're doing powers of three. So from 81 to 27, I'm dividing by three, right? 27 to nine, I'm dividing by three. Nine to three, I'm dividing by three. So of course, I have to take that three and divide it by three, and guess what three to the zero power is gonna be? One, again! Hmm, I know, right? Wow. Oh, oh. She's going to these negative exponents, right? And she put something on the board like, if A is a real number other than zero and N is a positive integer, then A to the negative N equals one over A to the N. Then she put some numbers on the board because we think that that's gonna help. <laughs> and it's three to the negative two equals one over three to the positive two, because th this is just supposed to make sense to you now, right? You saw it negative, then it becomes positive, boom. That equals one over nine. How does this help me understand all of that gibberish? Because it's a lot, okay? Well, again, I love it when you ask questions that I'm prepared to answer. Let's go, because I got you. We already did this part. Two to the fourth, two to the third, two squared, two to the first, two to the zero, right? So again, math is about patterns. I need to finish this pattern, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do two to the negative one, two to the negative two, two to the negative three, and two to the negative four, right? My pattern is that I was dividing by two, right? So I'm gonna take that one down there, that blue one, and I'm gonna divide it by two. What's one divided by two? 0 0.5 or one half, right? So I'm gonna take one half and I'm gonna divide it by two. I'm gonna get one fourth. You, are, you, are you paying attention? Look, look at that, look, look, okay? I'm gonna take one fourth and I'm gonna divide it by two. I'm gonna get one eighth. Do you see what's happening? Do you see the correlation between the numbers? One over 16. Oh, snap. So you're looking at me, you're like, this little pattern is cute and everything, Miss B. But honestly, I don't understand why negative exponents become positive. Wait, just <laughs> wait, wait. What is two? On the bottom of that fraction, one half, there's a two. Is that not the same thing? as two to the first power. On the bottom of that second fraction, one fourth, is four not the same thing as two to the second power? Oh, you better be, I hope you're following the pattern now because guess what? On the bottom, eight is really two to the third and 16 is really, oh! Yeah, I did that. She did that. So let's do the threes, because you know I gotta do both just to prove it to you, it's a solid fact, okay? Solid fact. Three to the negative one, three to the negative two, three to the negative three, three to the negative four. One third 
Divide one third by three. One to the ninth. Divide one ninth by three. One to the twenty seventh. One over to one over twenty seven. One to the twenty seventh. Um, and then one over eighty one. You see, you seeing it? You seeing it? Okay, okay, okay. All of those were just I'm just dividing by three, keeping the pattern going. So what's one over three? Three is actually three to the first power. Look, negative one became positive. Three to the second power. Negative two becomes positive two. 27 is really three to the positive three. And 81 is really three to the fourth. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> so you keep going over all these exponent rules. There's a lot of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. But what I know is that you have your zero exponent and you have your negative exponents down because I just explained. <laughs>